The Future Historical Society is a group of people with a common interest in the history of Brooklyn, the history of Fort Greene. Brooklyn is changing. We have a 54-story building. That was unheard of here in Brooklyn. Unheard of. Brooklyn, to me, who's been a Brooklynite all her life, was a quaint city. It is a very changing community. When we think about what's happened over the past 20 years, a great deal of gentrification has occurred. Seems to me that people forgot the then to the now. Brick was the space in which the Future Historical Society was born, the place that supported us and gave us a space to do all the things that we were doing. We have teachers, historians, we have activists, we have all kinds of people who do different things. It was important for us to bring all of those folks into the room. From the get-go, the proposal was show up and you're going to be asked to bring forth stories that become our framework for the stories we're going to build about Fort Greene. It was very important to let people know who was in Fort Greene before it was gentrified. We are asking questions around how we belong in our history and how that history belongs to us. We got in touch with these people, we were talking with them, they were telling us their personal stories, their experiences through the community. When we invite people to share those stories, those lived experiences, it can wake up and kind of illuminate a more three-dimensional view of this place, where we are now, what it has been, and what's the most just and equitable place it can become in the future. Hello everyone. My name is Ralph, and I'm from Fort Greene since 1977. My name is Hamza Ahmed, and this is our laundry man. We've been here for 30 years. My father built this business. It became important to think about, okay, well, we can build these stories, but if no one's listening to them, what good is that? We decided on using old-fashioned telephones to be able to listen to the stories by dialing a particular number. You pick it up, the Future Historical Society calling, and then everyone will hear the stories that people told about their life. My name is Desiree Rucker. I live in Brooklyn, and I grew up in what is now Walt Whitman Public Housing Development. I remember that as a child, we spent hours playing outside. We just played and played and played. How do we invite people to listen to these narratives? Why don't we create a mobile lab that actually travels with the phone to each one of these locations so we can test how people would actually engage with these phones? And when I told him that the building was for sale, he made a way where I could buy it. I enjoyed listening to the history and the nostalgia, how some of the uh, businesses survive, thrive, or um, evolve. It's fascinating. My mom was actually on the phone telling her story about how we started in 1969 and what we went through. To me, this represents getting back the community for the people who live here. The Future Historical Society is 25 people wondering about what the future looks like. It's about relationships. It's about humans getting to hang out with each other and spend time together and trust each other so that when you have the possibility for collaboration, you now have new allies that you can connect to that will build the future along with you.